we're given a two-year select mortality table. So the two-year select means that if somebody selected at age 80, we add two years to that. That's the same thing as age 82. We're, we're given UDD here. And we want to find the probability that a person selected age 80 and is currently 80.6 years old will die within the next 0.8 years. So think of this as 1 minus the probability of surviving. So we can just use the, uh, use the mortality table now. So that will be L80 plus 0.6 plus 0.8, which is just 1.4. And that will be over L80 plus 0.6. We know L80 plus 1.4 is between L80 plus 1 and L80 plus 2, which L80 plus 2 is just L82 from here. And we want to put a, uh, a higher weight to L80 plus 1 because it's only 0.4 away. So if we have L80 plus 1.4 it's a little closer to L80 plus 1 than L82. So the distance between L80 plus 1 and L80 plus 1.4 is 0.4 and then this distance 0.6. So we're going to do 1 minus 1.4. So the weight will end up being 0.6 because you want to use a higher weight for L80 plus 1. And then we'll do 1 minus 0 0.6 for L82. And that's all over L80 plus 0.6. Well, that is 0.4. That's, it's 0 0.6 away from L80, which 1 minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.4 of L80. And it's 0.4 away from L80 plus 1. So we'll do 1 minus 0 0.4, which is 0.6. L80 plus 1. And now we just have to use the mortality table. So L80, so we're selected at age 80 and we're currently uh, 81. So we would have to use the second column and you see the select here is X minus 1. So I want X minus 1 to be 80, therefore X would have to be 81. So that would be 37,700 for this one. And L82, we could just find over here in this column, it's 33,862. L80, we could just get it from here, 40,695. And then L80 plus 1, well, we would have to get it from the second column. And actually, I already did it. It's 37,700. So once you plug those in, you end up getting 0 0.07 as your final answer.